today's lecture is on fermentation and spoilage of milk this topic is included in the chapter of microbiology of milk fermentation of milk during the growth of microorganisms in milk and milk products they utilizes the nutrients which are present in this product and during the utilization of these nutrients they produce the different end products such microbiological changes which occur in milk and milk products are produced as a result of fermentation this fermentation which is carried out by the microorganism may be of normal fermentation or abnormal fermentation for example the lactic acid bacteria convert the lactose that is the carbohydrate which is present in milk convert that lactose into lactic acid due to the production of lactic acid the ph of milk is reduced which results into the precipitation of proteins that is casein which is called as a curdling of milk so curdling of milk is occurs due to lactic acid production which is example of a normal fermentation but the changes like gassiness ropiness proteolysis sweet curdling and lipolysis are the examples of abnormal fermentation abnormal fermentation means undesirable changes that occurs in dairy products due to the growth of microorganisms when two or more fermentations occur simultaneously in dairy products by the microorganisms it is called as a mixed fermentation for example production of acid and gas by spoilage causing microorganisms for example coliform this is the example of mixed fermentation different microorganisms they grows in milk and carried out either desirable changes or undesirable changes in milk product so these microorganisms they live together as a microflora which is called as a microflora so this microflora which is present in dairy products which carried out the different changes which is a result of associative action among different microorganisms and the changes which are produced by these microorganisms may be the desirable changes or undesirable changes so interactions are found among these microorganisms which is of different types the first type of interaction is called as a synergism in this type of association the two organisms bring about a change which neither of them could carry out alone for example the lactic acid bacteria which are present in milk during their growth they utilize the carbohydrate that is lactose convert that lactose into lactic acid which results in decrease in the ph of the milk this reduction in ph of the milk is favorable for
for the growth of another spoilage causing bacteria that is pseudomonas during the growth of pseudomonas this bacteria produce a water soluble blue color pigment in milk due to the production of this blue color pigment there will be a change in the color of milk from white to blue that means pseudomonas is responsible for the blue discoloration of milk so this defect of blue discoloration is a result of the growth of two organisms that is lactic acid bacteria for example streptococcus lactis and the pseudomonas organism so both organisms they bring about a change in milk which neither of them could carry out alone the second type of association which is found in the microflora present in dairy products is called as a metabiosis in this type a food chain is formed metabolic end products which are produced by one organism can be used as a food for the growth of another organism for example lactic acid bacteria first they grow in the milk convert lactose to lactic acid which results in curdling of milk due to the precipitation of casein the increase in the acidity is continue till that acidity reaches to 1% and this 1% acidity inactivates the growth of streptococcus after this the another lactic acid bacteria that is lactobacilli take over and further converts lactose to lactic acid till the acidity reaches towards 2% when acidity reaches to 2% under this condition molds that is geotrichum candidum grow on the surface and reduces the acidity by oxidizing lactic acid to co2 and water due to reduction in acidity the proteolytic spore formers for example bacillus grows and causes the degradation of casein subsequently the lipolytic bacteria may develop and utilizes the lipids which are present in the milk so the metabolic end product which is produced by one organism can be utilized as a food for the growth of another organism the third type of association is antibiosis anti means against the growth of one organism inhibits or suppresses the growth of other organism or second organism for example the growth of lactic acid bacteria causes the inhibition of the growth of proteolytic organism because this lactic acid bacteria produce the lactic acid from the lactose sugar which suppresses the growth of proteolytic organisms as these proteolytic organisms are unable to grow in presence of acid so these are the three type of associations are found among the different microorganisms which are present in dairy product these associations includes synergism metabiosis and antibiosis
fermentation. So when a raw milk is kept as it is under ambient condition, the organisms which are present in the milk utilizes the nutrients that are present in the milk, convert the lactose that is the carbohydrate into the lactic acid. So the lactose is get converted to the lactic acid by lactic acid bacteria. Due to the production of lactic acid, the acidity of the meal is increased. The normal acidity of fresh meal is ranges from 0.14 to 0.19 percent. This acidity is in terms of lactic acid. But during the growth of the microorganisms in milk, there will be increase in lactic acid so that the acidity will increase to 0 0.20 to 0.25 percent and when this acidity is reaches to this percentage the soaring of milk occurs further increase in the acidity to 0.5 to 0.65 percentage results in curdling of milk Generally, the acidity continue to increase even after the coagulation of casein. This acidity increases till there will be the inhibition of the growth of lactic acid bacteria either due to the accumulation of acid or due to the exhaustion of the sugar that is the lactose present in milk or milk products. The mechanism of acid coagulation involves the interaction of the lactic acid which is produced by the microorganism from the lactose. This lactic acid it can bound to the calcium of casein which results into the precipitation of casein and which appears as a curd. The casein get precipitate in a pH range of about 4.64 to 4.78. The organisms which are responsible for curdling of milk includes particularly lactic acid bacteria. For example, lactic streptococci, lactobacilla, leuconostra, streptococcus thermophilus, and streptococcus liquefaciens. Bacillus coagulans and coliforms also causes the precipitation of casein. Functional properties of fermented milk product. So the first property includes preservation. During the fermentation, whatever acid which are produced in milk products inhibits or suppress the growth of spoilage causing microorganism which results increase in shelf life of these dairy products. Flavor enhancement. During the fermentation, different fermented products are produced such as lactic acid, diacetyl, carbon dioxide and ethanol which helps in enhancement of the flavor in dairy products. Texture enhancement. 
which results in the thickness in dairy products due to the production of different end products during fermentation reducing caloric content many fermented milk products are produced from the low fat or fat free varieties and which can be a substitute for higher fat ingredients emulsification the milk proteins helps to stabilize fat emulsions in salad dressings cakes etc nutritional benefits the fermented milk products may contain the probiotics now probiotics includes the bacteria which are beneficial to health so the fermented milk products may contain the probiotics as well as many vitamins and minerals benefits of fermented milk fermented milk products are believed to be beneficial to gut health by introducing it to billions of live, live microorganisms that is probiotics by introducing these healthy bacteria into digestive tract people can aid in digestion improve in immunity increase in rate of metabolism and help to maintain healthy bones teeth and skin introducing fermented foods and milk products into diet is a positive way to improve health next to fermentation of milk is spoilage of milk causes of milk spoiling first environmental factors second milk handling personal sterile milk from normal cow's udder becomes contaminated during the process of milking cooling storage and processing milking and handling personal should be healthy milk handling equipments poorly clean and sanitized milking utensils may act as a source of different contaminating microorganisms which can transform high quality milk to unacceptable product animal factors the cow is a cause of milk contamination which leading to the spoilage of milk so the first example of spoilage of milk includes stormy fermentation which is also called as a gassiness because in this type of defect the production of gas mainly co2 is observed and this co2 is produced by certain microorganisms the production of gas in canned dairy product causes bulging of cans which is also called as a blowing of cans the production of gas in milk is evidenced by the formation of foam at the top if the milk is liquid and that milk will be super saturated with the gas and it is called as a stormy fermentation of milk 
causative organisms for stormy fermentation includes lactose fermentating yeast that is candida pseudotropicalis and torulapsis other organisms includes e coli and anaerobic spore forming bacteria that is clostridia next defect is ropiness or sliminess ropi fermentation of milk is brought about due to the growth of bacteria which are responsible to change the consistency of the product due to the formation of thread like structure or production of viscous masses causative organism includes particularly bacteria alkaligenes viscolactis in addition to this other gram negative rods includes acromobacter and flavobacterium coliforms for example enterobacter and citrobacter aerobic spore formers includes bacillus cereus and bacillus subtilis and lactic acid bacteria sweet curdling curdling of milk is generally occur due to the production of lactic acid by the microorganisms from the carbohydrate that is lactose which is present in milk sweet curdling means the curdling which occur without acid production but due to the production of extra cellular enzyme for example renin like enzyme which is produced by the bacteria and which causes the precipitation of casein and that casein is in the form of small specks of curd organism which are responsible to produce such defect includes particularly aerobic spore formers for example bacillus cereus and bacillus subtilis psychotrophic spore formers bacillus cereus and bacillus albolactis non spore forming rods for example proteus and escherichia coca that is streptococcus liquefactions and yeast as well as molds all these organism produces extra cellular enzyme which is responsible for the precipitation of the casein proteolysis lysis of the proteins by microorganism as this organism produces proteolytic enzyme this type of defect of proteolysis is generally observed in dairy products which are preserved at refrigeration temperature so psychotrophic bacteria that is pseudomonas acromobacter acinetobacter aeromonas and lactic acid bacteria all these psychotrophic bacteria have the ability to grow at refrigeration temperature and causes a defect that is proteolysis thermogenic bacteria such as bacillus subtilis bacillus cereus and bacillus sterothermophilus also responsible for proteolysis lipolysis lysis of lipids or fats present in milk or milk products that is by the microorganism which produces the enzyme called as a lipase lipase enzyme is responsible 
for hydrolysis of milk fat which results in the accumulation of free fatty acids particularly lower chain fatty acids that is butyric acid and caproic acid the production of this lower chain fatty acid is responsible for production of lipolytic of flavor and that of flavor is called as a rancidity there are the different causes of lipolysis which includes mechanical physiological microbial or enzymatic color defect or discoloration means change in normal color of milk for example blue discoloration or blue coloration development of blue color in milk that blue coloration may be due to the growth of organism pseudomonas cinciani or it may be due to the eating of certain plants that means the non bacterial cause yellow coloration is occur due to the growth of pseudomonas cinzantha or due to the eating of certain plants or due to presence of other infection to the mammal red coloration by the growth of serratia marsensis in milk or milk products or if that mammal is suffering from any other infection then the milk of that mammal will contain blood and due to the presence of blood cell in milk it results in red coloration of milk greenish coloration by the growth of pseudomonas fluorescens or due to the feed of that animal brown coloration due to the growth of pseudomonas putrefaciens so different types of discoloration occurs that is due to either by the growth of different bacteria or there may be a different non bacterial causes flavor defects change in the flavor of dairy products that is due to the growth of certain spoilage causing microorganisms called as a microbially induced flavors multi flavor is produced due to the growth of streptococcus lactis variety maltigens fruity flavor due to the growth of pseudomonas fragi or bacillus in dairy products musty potato flavor by the growth of pseudomonas tetrolans unclean flavor because of the growth of cyclotrophic bacteria when the dairy products are freezer under refrigeration phenolic flavor due to the synthesis of phenolic like compounds by the growth of bacillus circulans and medicinal flavor due to the growth of the bacteria aerobacter aerogenes control of milk spoilage milk contain all essential nutrients which are required for the growth of microorganism means milk has a excellent culture medium for microorganism due to which milk has a short storage life and it should be consumed immediately unless it is processed to other products the microorganisms which are present 
in milk can deteriorate the quality of the milk very fast so control of milk spoilage can by changing milking practices milk quality across the value chain could be improved through changing milking practices to ensure better hygienic conditions improvement of milk handling and improvement of storage condition by maintaining the cold chain milk should be preserved at a temperature to 4 degree celsius and they should be transported in insulated trucks and milking and handling of milk should be clean significance of milk spoilage when raw milk is left standing for more than 3 hours which results in souring of milk this fermentation process is exploited by the introduction of desirable bacterial cultures particularly lactic acid bacteria for example lactobacillus streptococcus leuconostoc and this desirable bacteria can utilize the nutrients present in milk and produce a variety of fermented milk products for example sour cream yogurt cheese butter milk butter etc references for fermentation and spoilage of milk you have to refer a book of a comprehensive dairy microbiology by j s yadav thank you